Alright gamer, I'm super excited to show you this awesome build we got going on for the God Hand, the exotic war pike. It's a pretty fun weapon, it's not super duper meta, super strong for in game, but it's definitely a fun weapon and you can definitely use it if you want to. But we got ourselves a pretty good build in terms of damage and recharge rate so you can use your little laser as much as you want because as I said that's the funnest part is shooting the laser. So let's jump into this. First you want to get your God Hand right. And you're going to want to put a plus three savagery cell in there. And then next a plus three discipline cell. And right here it says the god hand converts your meter into ammo. You hold to spin that ammo to channel a beam that damages behemoths the more it remains on them. But in our build we're going to even double that damage with this right here. This mod executioner spearhead each time a behemoth is wounded you gain plus six percent damage. And it stacks up to ten times. So the idea with this build is we're going to be wounding the behemoth first and then using our beam. And man, it makes a huge, huge difference because of that exact mod there. Next, we're going to want to get Dark Watch, which is Shroud's headpiece. It has a plus three rage and we're going to put a plus three overpower cell. Next is Shroud's chest piece that has a plus three rage and we're going to put a plus three overpower cell in that one. Next is Malkyrion's Grasps that has a plus 3 Predator and we're going to put a plus 3 Savagery cell. And I'll explain why we're using Savagery in a little bit. Next is Kashai's Feet that has a plus 3 Predator and this has a plus 3 Energize cell and I'll explain why we're using that as well. Next is Drask's Eye so we can have increased damage, 30% increased damage for 6 seconds. So remember when you're ready to shoot your beam you want to tap your lantern so you can get that boost of 30% damage on your beam and next we'll be using an energized cell in there as well so guys don't forget your tonics that's free damage free everything free attack speed it's beautiful especially inside tonic because that's gonna help us wound the behemoth a lot faster so we can get into the battle and start using our laser beam so we can get all those damage buff stacks that just keep stacking up so all in all we have a plus 6 energize which recharges our weapon by 40% which is really nice so we can use our laser as much as often because that's what this whole build is about. You want to shoot the, be the beam, I mean it's awesome, why not? So next is overpower because when we're wounding and breaking the parts, the behemoths will be staggered and laying on the ground and that's another plus 60% damage. And predator, that's 35% damage if you don't get hit which you should be fine, I mean you should be a little bit in uh, further distance away from the behemoth when you're shooting your laser so that damage buff will also be activated. Rage, this is damage all the time, this is really great damage buff here. Cell, I'm sorry, that's 25% damage. So we're, we have plus 6 savagery right here and what we're doing with that because that gives us a plus 100% damage versus wounded parts. And in this build like I said we'll be running around wounding all the behemoth parts and getting these damage stacks from Executioner Spearhead from the weapon mod which gives us plus 6% damage for every wounded part on a behemoth. So then think about this stacking with that as well that's 100% damage versus wounded parts so it's just a lot of damage happening here. This is the best way to use this build in my opinion. And Discipline here that's so we can get to half health and we can use Rage which is a really good damage cell and it also gives us plus 7.5% to critical strike chance which is pretty good but it's definitely so we can use Rage. So remember gamer, this build is all about wounding. We want to wound first because each time the behemoth is wounded we gain plus 6% damage and that stacks 10 times. And then we have our lantern. You want to use the lantern tab when you shoot your laser beam right before you shoot it. And remember we have energized so we can keep that laser beam up as much as possible and we can keep shooting it and have fun with it. And savagery adds more to the wound, uh, wounded part. So remember when you're shooting your laser beam you want to shoot it at the wounded parts don't just shoot it at the body or other parts that aren't wounded make sure you're aiming for optimal damage at the glowing aether blue wounded parts so I hope you're able to make this build and kick some butt with it because it is really fun alright gamers so yeah what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to wound the behemoth first especially before you do anything so it definitely helps to use a lot of the light attack combos which is light attack four times and then on the fifth time you hold it but remember on the fifth time it can stick you into that animation and you see as here sometimes I use it sometimes I don't there's the full one right there and see it definitely throws down a wound pretty quick don't forget to use your tonic so you can get those wounds in faster and it'll be a lot quicker so you can charge up your war pike and use the laser beam 
So definitely what I'm trying to show you here is how, remember our mod executioner spearhead gives us plus 6% damage for every wounded part on a behemoth. And that is really dope because that stacks with savagery, which is 100% damage versus wounded parts. Not to mention all of our damage cells that we have going on. Yes, Predator is 35% if you don't get hit, so that is the hard part. You want to maintain that as best as you can so you can keep that damage cell up as well. So remember also, when you are channeling your beam on the Behemoth, you want to definitely make sure you're channeling the beam on a wounded part so you can maximize all the damage you have that's from your build. That is, yes, the hardest part because they're moving and you might break a part and you still want to shoot another part but you can't get to it. It doesn't matter, just keep up that DPS, recharge your laser beam and throw it back. Because we're also utilizing Energize which is recharging our weapon pretty fast. And it's very nice as well. So you can tell how everything's coming together now and synergizing when it comes to damage stacks, wounds, attack speed, you know it's all very relevant. So once all the cells are activated and you use your lantern, which I of course forgot to do right there, you should be hitting 900 to 1000 K damage, which is really good for the laser beam. Alright gamer, that's all I got for you today. I hope you're able to make this build and I hope you have super fun with it because this is pretty unique war pike and it definitely deserves some time to play with and enjoy the fact that you can shoot this giant laser beam. But this is Hands, signing out. Peace.